Well, one other thing that has came up a few times in talking to other companies about this is a lot of them are scared of the community doing something they wouldn't like. Or <laughs> um, one really good example is this guy who owns like the number one sunroof manufacturer in the world was at some thing that I was at and we were talking about building a community and he was um, talking about, I was asking if there's anybody actually like passionate about sunroofs and um, he talked about them as if they were just complete lunatics like uh, what did he, he called them freaks or something like yeah there's like all these freaks that will just take a sawzall and cut a hole out of their roof and yeah you know the roof of their car and to me it seems like those are the kind of people that you should be celebrating <laughs> like yeah uh, they're probably doing crazy stuff that you're gonna actually see at some point and probably develop into a product you know like maybe they found some cool new way of building a sunroof or you know yeah uh, they should almost look at it like it's a huge opportunity because if someone's willing to like destroy their car yeah. to do this thing, like uh, they'd be willing to pay for someone else to have it do it. Yeah. And I mean, I really like um, Lego does a lot of really cool stuff with the community of Lego builders. <laughs> and some of the stuff you probably like when they take multiple sets, mix it together and make something completely different out of it. And, huh, interesting. Um, and then you can post that stuff up on Lego's site, and that you you can even um, they have a site you can go to where you can submit a Lego thing that you've assembled out of pieces, and then they may even take that into production. Um, Interesting. So a similar even principle. Yeah. To but I could see other do. companies maybe getting scared of people using their products the wrong way. Right. But they're celebrating it. Mm -hmm.